Turning to Commitment 2024 coverage this morning, the November general elections in Wisconsin are now set. Primary election results coming in overnight and they're scrolling at the bottom of your screen. Voters rejected two state constitutional amendments. The first asked voters whether to prohibit the legislature from giving up its power to spend money. That question failed with 57% of voters saying no. The second asked voters to require legislative approval for the governor to spend federal money. That also failed with 58% of voters saying no. Those amendments were proposed by the Republican held legislature during the COVID-19 pandemic. Wisconsin received billions of dollars in federal funding. Governor Tony Evers had the power to spend that money as he saw fit, a power that Wisconsin governors have had since the 1930s. A little more than 32% of registered voters in Milwaukee County voted, which the Milwaukee County clerk says is a typical turnout for the August primary. This morning, Eric Hovde is officially the Republican candidate for U.S. Senate, overwhelmingly defeating his primary challengers with 86% of the vote. He'll face off against incumbent Democrat Senator Tammy Baldwin in November. In the congressional race to replace Mike Gallagher, who left office earlier this year, political newcomer Tony Weed, backed by former President Donald Trump, won the Republican primary in the 8th Congressional District. That district represents the Green Bay area. Some 700 voters in Douglas County voted on the wrong ballot yesterday. Ballots printed in the town of Summit included the wrong assembly district. It listed these two Democratic challengers instead of the two Republicans that voters should have been deciding between. The misprinted ballots continued going out until polls closed last night. We asked the head of the Wisconsin Elections Commission about what happens now. There, of course, you know, could be legal avenues that come into play if this were to be litigated or if somebody were to file some type of sworn complaint before the commission, then that's where the commission's authority would kick in to be able to weigh in on these processes. But until or unless that happens uh, at this time, this is a local a local decision. Again, all of the results are scrolling on the bottom of your screen. They'll continue to do so throughout the hour. You can also find them right now on the 12 News app.